In less than 24 hours, we will likely know the fate of Nashville's director of schools, Dr. Sean Joseph. Facing a vote tomorrow to terminate his contract, News Channel 5 has confirmed he's now negotiating a potential buyout, a buyout that could cost you a lot of money. Now the question is, how much? News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, has been crunching the numbers for us. Phil? Well, right now it seems clear that Dr. Joseph's days are numbered. We have confirmed that he began clearing out his office over the weekend. The question may be, will he walk away with nothing or with a big fat paycheck? And so I'm formally requesting uh, that this board evoke the section of my contract that allows for us to have a mutual conversation to figure out how to best transition. Two weeks ago, Dr. Sean Joseph attempted to counter the upcoming vote to fire him, suggesting that the school board begin negotiations to buy out the rest of his contract, which goes through June of next year. It's my understanding that there are some contract negotiations ongoing right now. Last week, Joseph critic Amy Froge expressed frustration over rumors that school board chair Sharon Gentry had already entered into those negotiations without consulting with the board. Why are we so stuck? For the past three years, Gentry has been one of Joseph's most vocal defenders. On Monday, Metro Legal Director John Cooper confirmed that he has been in communication with Dr. Joseph's attorney and the board chair regarding a possible buyout. Cooper declined to discuss specifics. Dr. Joseph, why will you not answer our question, sir? Joseph's breakup with the board follows a growing sexual harassment scandal that has already cost the district $350,000 in legal settlements, questions about no-bid contracts, and a morale crisis now gripping the district. Right now, it appears there are only four potential votes on the nine-member board to terminate Joseph. If he were fired, he wouldn't get a dime. Two of the board's newest members have expressed support for revisiting the terms of his contract to essentially buy him out. It is expected that Gentry and two other Joseph supporters would also support a buyout given the director's request. That our constituents are looking to us to make the right decisions um, regarding their money. Um, this is their taxpayer dollars, so this is a very large contract. So how much could it cost taxpayers? The district budgets $337,200 a year for Joseph's salary, paid vacation, and deferred compensation. With 14 and a half months left, that could total somewhere around $400,000. Now, critics argue that Dr. Joseph has already cost the district a lot of money with the sexual harassment lawsuits and no-bid contracts, which is why some argue he doesn't deserve anything. Others note that a legal fight with the director could get ugly and also cost a lot of money, which is why others suggest a buyout is the best way to ease tensions and move forward. Of course, we'll be there when the votes are counted. Rory? All right, Phil, thanks.